Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can build a Docker image for your Flask app. So Docker is a tool that helps developer package their applications and all their dependencies into a single lightweight unit which is called a container. So we can begin the process now. Alright, so first of all you have to uh, install Docker on your system. So you can confirm it by running the docker hyphen hyphen version command in your terminal and it should return a version number. Alright, so now for this we I've built a sample Flask app here, which I'll just show you how it how it looks like. So this is how the Flask app looks looks like right now. All right, so now we can begin the process of creating our Docker file for the Flask app here. So first of all, you can create a file here, which you can name like Docker file dot Flask, and then we can start writing the Docker file here. All right, so first of all, we have to import a system base. Basically, that's an environment in which a Docker file will be written. So for this, I can import the Python system here because we are eventually building a Python app here. So I can just import Python 3.9 and I can import its slim version here because slim version is compatible for running a uh, Flask app. So now we can define the work directory. This is the directory which is which will have the app co contents inside the container. So I will just define it as slash app. And now the next process is we can uh, copy the requirements.txt file. So for that, you have to also create the requirements.txt file in a Flask app by running the command pip freeze requirements.txt. And that will create a requirements.txt file in your directory. All right, so now we can copy the requirements file in our work directory, which is the app. So I can just uh, write where my uh, actual requirements.txt file lies. So this is at the path of dot slash flask and then requirements.txt. So I have to write the relative path to the docker file and now i can copy it just in the root of work directory that is slash app all right perfect now we can run some commands like pip install hyphen r requirements.txt this will install all the requirements present in the requirements.txt into our work directory and app all right so now requirements have been downloaded in our containers so the next process is just copying the whole application which we can do just by copy dot slash flask and we're going to copy it to the root of our container which is slash app perfect so uh one more thing here is that we can also apply no cache directory here so there's no version conflict between different versions of the containers that are that are running simultaneously so we can just write no cache dev and this will just enable no cache directory while installing requirements.txt all right perfect so now we can uh, expose the port where our flask app will run which is the port 5000 so i'll just expose it using the command expose 5000 all right perfect and now the final command comes here which is uh, cmd now i can uh, list the sequence of commands which is python then i can list the command app.py because that's the name of the file i have inside my flask app so now i can build this file for building this file we can uh, run a sequence of command which is first of all docker build hyphen t then I can name my uh, container, which will be Flask app. I'm just keeping a Flask app for here. Now I can refer to the file name by the hyphen f tag, and I can and I can write this as Dockerfile.flask, which is the Docker file for my Flask app. And then uh, I will write the directory where this file lies, which is the root directory so i can now run this command this will start creating the image for us 
all right so i'm in the wrong directory now it should run perfectly fine all right so now it, it has started building the image and it will take some time it was cached for me so it took some less time but it can probably probably take 15 to 20 seconds for you all right so now our image has been built we can very verify it by running the command docker images and our image should be visible right here perfect now to run this image on our system in a container we can run uh, we can run the command docker run then uh, i can run hyphen p which is used for binding the ports so for this i have the 5000 port i should bind it to 5000 port only i'm binding it to 5000 port only you can bind it to any port you want but i'll just keep it reserved for the plus cap and now I'll write the name of the image which I've built, which is Flask App. All right, perfect. So now if I run this, our app should probably start off. And perfect. So as you can see, our app is running on localhost local host 5000 port. If I visit this, and I can see that this is my uh, original Flask project right here. So the project is running fine. So the app is running perfectly fine and if i want to enter the terminal of this container how i can do it is first of all i can control c and close the container now i'll verify if the container is running it is not now i can run the container in detached mode by attaching hyphen d as one of the flags this is just going to run the container and to verify this i can run the command lock of yes and you can see that this container is currently up and i can also verify it by reloading this and yeah the app is currently visible as well all right so now to enter inside the terminal of the container i can run a docker exec command and i can run it by docker exec hyphen it then i can uh, enter the container name or the id which is uh here i'll just paste it here right and then I can enter the term, terminal directory where I'm going to go for this. This is just bin slash sh for shell. I should enter the directory of the container and there I am. So if I run some commands like ls, I can see all the uh, project contents here, app.py requirements.txt and templates, which are the original project contents for my project, for my app. So that's perfect. Now we're inside the shell and we can uh, run some external commands if you want to. Something like python manage.py make migrations if in case you're running a Django app or if you want to run any kind of other commands, you can run uh, using this terminal. All right, perfect. So now I can exit the, this using exit and I can uh, view the status of my Docker container, which is still running and live on the localhost 5000 port. So that's how you would build a Docker image for your Flask app and also run it on your local server. So yeah, guys, that's it for the video and thanks for watching.